and welcome to Wildcat Action News. I'm Omar. And I'm Chloe. This week's top story takes us down to the music room. Let's send it over to Carter for this week's story. In recent weeks, Wildcats may have heard the sound of plucking strings coming from the music room. That sound you hear? Fifth graders playing their ukuleles. I recently caught up with our music teacher, Mrs. Fredrickson, to ask her about this exciting project. Tell us a little bit about the ukulele project. I am so pumped. I am excited to offer our students, our fifth grade students this year, our first year, a nine week, nine week project with Quaver Music. And this was something I've been looking forward to doing for a long time because ukulele is the growing trend in music education. Where did this idea come from? Well, as I said earlier, it's the trend in education today. Every music conference you go to, they're encouraging us to get ukuleles. Why? Because they're fairly affordable. People can afford to buy them. Now, Mrs. Fred decided, I, I wrote a grant. I'd never written a grant before. And I got 15 ukuleles through the grant money so that our fifth grade classes could do this great project. The other neat thing about it is we get to unpack our already our prior knowledge and bring that in. And since the ukulele is fairly portable, everybody can have success with this and have fun. Describe some of the activities that you're doing in class. I'd be glad to do that for you. Well, first of all, we're using our online music series called Quaver Music. And in the back here, you can see a couple panels I'm going to show you. Each string has a specific pitch. So we are teaching the students to know which one of those strings they play and how to tune it. And I'm going to show that to you real quick. And for example, if I were to play these strings, it should play My Dog Has Fleas but if it's out of pitch it won't. Students now have just learned two chords. The first chord we learned was C major chord. So we can start to sing and play and layer music, have some harmony and some rhythm and melody. And lastly, students have been playing along with Quaver. This is their first chord. They get a song to play and then they have to practice strumming. And then they count off and they play together as a team. And it would be like this, two, three, four. And that are just a little bit of some of the activities that we have been working on in class. Thank you for telling us about the ukulele. You are very welcome. And I hope you come back and check in with our uke project, ukuleles. Fifth grade students have really been enjoying getting a chance to learn to play the ukulele during their music classes and look forward to developing their skills even further. For Wildcat Action News, I'm Carter Lippins. Let's send it back to the newsroom. What a fun project! Now it's time for this week's weather. Welcome to Weekly Weather. Today you can expect a high of 47 and a low of 30. On Tuesday you can expect a high of 52 and a low of 35. On Wednesday you can expect a high of 51 and a low of 33. On Thursday temperatures can reach as high as 56 and gets down to 33. And to wrap up the week you can expect a high of 48 and a low of 30. Let's send it back to the newsroom. Thanks for tuning in for this week's version of Weekly Weather. Thanks, Cooper. Now let's get to this week's quick quiz. We're heading to first grade for this week's classroom update. Let's go to Aubrey and Ava to see what's going on in 1D.
Hi, I'm Aubrey, and we're outside of 1D. Let's go inside and see what they're up to. Hi, I'm here with Miss Dean. What have you guys been working on in the classroom? Well, Aubrey, we've been working on animal reports. Um, so this is really exciting for us in first grade. It works on our writing skills, plus the kids get to research their own animal that they choose, and then I put them with a partner. Um, so we've got partners doing dogs, cats, sharks, tarantulas, tigers, all different kinds of research going on in there on their laptops. We work on a program called Pebble Go, and they learn some facts on the body of the animal, the life cycle, what they eat, the food that they eat, and also just some fun facts about that animal. So then they take all of these facts and compile them into their animal report. So that's exciting for us right now. What's your favorite part of 1D? Well, my favorite part of the day is when we all come to the carpet. And that's really our learning time at the carpet, but it's also important to have a little fun in school so that the kids can really start to enjoy school. So sometimes we have some laughs and giggles and, you know, but learning time is good at the carpet too. So that's what I like. Thank you, Miss Dean. What do you like most about one day? Sitting at the carpet and when the teacher reads to me. I like playing with my friends at recess. I like doing math at the carpet with my class. What's your favorite subject? PE. Reading and math. Reading. Why do you enjoy that? Because it gives me exercise. Because it's fun. Because I am good at it. We really enjoyed getting to see all the happenings in 1D. We saw lots of learning and lots of fun. Keep up the good work, 1D. I'm Aubrey Sanders for Wildcat Action News. Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment. You mean your favorite segment. Joke of the week. <laughs> Why did the student eat his homework? Because the teacher said it was a piece of cake. Well, let's send it back to the newsroom. That's all the time that we have for this week. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on Wildcat Action News.